Ryan Marcy, First Baptist Church in Raymondville was burglarized not just once or twice, but three times in just one week. This was stolen on the first day, this was stolen, these were stolen on the second day. Detective Sergeant Andreas Maldonado with Raymondville PD says burglaries happen and thieves don't discriminate. Sadly, uh, we've had uh, our Catholic Church, Our Lady Guadalupe broken into. Maldonado says unfortunately it happens far too often. In fact, a local church, First Baptist, was broken into three times last week. It's just a matter of... Um, them seeing what they want and trying to go get it and knowing that there's electronics in churches. Early Tuesday afternoon, a tip led them to Adolfo Conde Jr., who's now facing charges of burglary of a building. He was found at his girlfriend's house. Investigators say she lied to them, and she now faces charges of harboring a fugitive. Detectives believe Conde broke into the church multiple times through this door and took items like these projectors. Police say Condi went back one more time because he forgot about the receivers. It helped us link in actually placing them into that building the second and third time as well. Maldonado says these break-ins are costly for churches, which are funded through donations. I know they're donation-based and I know funds are tight everywhere. You know, surveillance equipment, uh, any type of cameras, anything like that. It's sad to say, but it is needed. You know, with that here, we have a lot of burglaries. Luckily, officers are doing a great job of going to patrol, but sometimes it does happen, and you know, it relies basically on the, our citizens coming forward and helping us out, which in this case was, you know, very helpful today. Investigators say it was an anonymous tip that led to the recovery of the stolen items. And PD says they will return those to the church later today. Live in the studio, Ashley Custer, Action for News.